This is the Secure X Puff Fido Cliff Key. What's unique about this key is it does not store private resident keys on the key. It's one of the most secure passwordless methods available. We'll take it out of the package and we'll put it on a Google account and show you how it works. Taking it out of the package. It's in a hard plastic case. Very light. This is the Google account we're going to put it on. Go into the uh, Google's, my account, google.com. And from there, you select security. You go down and you make sure that two-step verification is on. As you can see, it's on here. And once you verify two-step verification is on, you can come down here and pass keys. And here you can create a pass key. Now this is a little confusing because it's saying create a pass key, which can be electronically stored on a phone or a computer or some other computing device. But in this case, we're gonna use a hardware security key from SecuX, the Poof Fido. So we plug that key in to the iPhone in this case, and we're gonna click create pass key. And we're gonna say, use another device, that's important. I know it's confusing, but that's what you have to do. And there you can select security key and press continue. And the security key is blinking now. We'll press the little contact button on it and we'll enter a, a previously set up pin. If you did not have a pin on it, it would prompt you to create one. So we'll press continue here. It's blinking again. We press the key and it's that simple. Pass key created on your account. You'll get an email notifying you of that and you click done. And one of the reasons you wanna do this besides just having additional security is to prevent someone else from doing it. Because if someone else gets a hold of your account and can log into it, they can delete your second factor and add a strong second factor, which you would not be able to remove. What's unique about the SecuX Puff Fido Cliff key is that it uses natural cellular level variations in the manufacturing process to create a fingerprint, if you will, and combines that with the app ID to dynamically create the private keys in the device and once the device is authenticated the private key then goes away it's one of the most secure methods being proposed to protect private keys these keys can be used for passwordless login making account security both secure and convenient